Well, hey there, I'm Dr. Tom Ulrich, and I like to talk about leadership and engineering. Hey, in uh, this video, this will be my sixth and final installment on uh, thoughts on improving your chances to be promoted. And I want to get back to this idea of, um, you know, leadership involved is a process of influence that involves relationships, communication, and vision. And we talked previously that, you know, to, to, to be a leader now, lean into relationships. To be a leader now, communicate. In terms of the vision, the, you, you got to kind of be smart about it. So last video, I talked about an example of a terrible idea. Now I want to talk about an example that I think is a good one. So when I was first at Parker Aerospace, um, the the software process was was pretty bad, pretty out of control, a lot of bugs. And uh, I was already convinced that unit testing was the way to go. And what I did is I just simply started unit testing my own software. You don't need a fancy tool for that. Some salesman will try to convince you, but that's nonsense. Just write functions that call your functions to do unit testing. At any rate, uh, so what I did is I just simply did it. I didn't ask, I didn't tell anybody, but what I did is I unit tested and that uh, really sped up the rate at which I could deliver c code. It reduced the bugs and all of a sudden I had a reputation for uh, delivering software quickly that was uh, had a relatively low bug count. And um, you know that was kind of the basis of uh, you know why I did well at, at Parker. And it was certainly a big part of why I got asked to join leadership. And the key idea there is what I didn't do is say, OK, you people over there, you need to start doing this. I didn't say, hey, let's make a new policy. We need to all do this. I didn't do any of that. What I did was I was aware that there was a better way to do my job. And so I did that better way. And I demonstrated that it was a better way in terms of speed and in terms of quality of work. And that, I think, is an example of if you want to lead, you know, particularly if, um, you know, if you're a software engineer, there's a lot of methods and tools you can just simply start using and lead in that way. But I think what you don't want to do is before you're in a leadership role, you know, uh, don't be worrying about everybody else. Worry about yourself and let your leadership be in the way you innovate, the way you work, and the way you get your work done. So, you know, when we've got goals, show that you've got a way to do it uh, faster and more accurately. And the, the key thing is don't be doing a lot of talking. Just get the results. At any rate, hopefully that helps. Uh, hey, if you don't mind, if you don't mind subscribing, give me a like, give me a comment. Uh, you can find more videos on my website, uh, TomAlrichConsulting.com. Uh, you can also search on YouTube. Just search for Dr. Tom Walrich. Anyway, uh, we'll talk to you next time.